you got some problems We'll be there to solve them We're a squad who can do the job We're a squad who can do the job The monster is in trouble We'll be there on the double We're the squad who can do the job We're the squad who can do the job Monster Mask Squad. I can't make a sculpture of you if you keep moving around. Sorry, Max. No, I used the wrong amount of clay on this part. My sculpture doesn't really look like you. It's all squishy. <laughs> now I look like your sculpture, Max. All squishy. <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrobia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the monster mascot will be there! It's Monster Angelo, the greatest sculptor in all of Monstrovia. Hi, Monster Angelo. Hello, Monster Mat Squad. What can we do for you, Monster Angelo? I have a problem. I'm supposed to be making a sculpture of Signor Cranky Pants Monster, but I need help. I can't finish the sculpture, and he wants to see it today. It's a sculpture disaster. Can you help me? We'd love to help you, Monster Angelo. We'll be right over. Monster Angelo thanks you. <laughs> hmm. We need to help Monster Angelo finish his sculpture. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! We will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Monster! Monster! Today's secret Monster Math word is... Volume. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Volume! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help a master monster sculptor finish his sculpture. <laughs> So upset. My latest monster piece is never going to be finished. You see? Hmm, it looks pretty good to me. No, it is not good, Lily. Look, my sculpture. It is missing a head. Oh, right. Is there a reason you can't make the head for your sculpture, Monster Angelo? Yes, there is. You see, I use monster mud to make my sculptures. And I measure my mud very, very carefully using those containers and buckets over there. So what's the problem? The problem is this bucket here. It's the one I need to use to measure the mud for Senor Cranky Pants Monster's head, but I can't use it. Why not? Because there's a hole in my bucket, dear Lily. It can't hold any mud. How am I supposed to finish my monster piece if I can't get the right amount of mud? Oh! This bucket is the same shape as the broken one. Can you use it, Monster Angelo? Hmm, they are the same shape. You may be right, Senor Max. I will try it. Oh, I hope it works. Aha! My monster piece is done! Monster Angelo is saved! Ah! It is a teeny tiny head, isn't it? Not at all like the head of Senor Cranky Pants Monster. I used all the mud in the bucket, but it wasn't enough. Monster Angelo is ruined! How can we help Monster Angelo measure out the right amount of mud he needs to make the head on his sculpture? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, volume. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. 
One, two, three, volume! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor! It's a very hot day. Mmm, mmm, a lemonade drink. Another thirsty monster wants some drink that is pink. Which cup should he use if he wants to be fair? And drink the same volume as his friend over there. This cup is the same shape, but it's way too small. It doesn't have the same volume. No, not at all. This cup has a very different shape, but it holds the same volume. Mmm, it tastes great. Thanks, Math Monitor. Now we know that even though two containers are the same shape, they can hold different volumes of something. And that containers of different shapes can have the same volume. And since volume is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster, monster math! math! Oh! Let's look at these containers again. We need to find a different container that holds the same volume of monster mud as the broken one. And it doesn't have to be the same shape. That's right, Gil. But what is the volume of monster mud that the broken bucket can hold? Maybe it says inside. Ah, look. Wow, Goo! <laughs> you fit perfectly into the bucket. Wait a minute. If Goo fits perfectly in the bucket, that means he is the exact same volume that it can hold. And so we can use Goo to find another container that holds the same volume of monster mud as the broken bucket. But Max, I don't understand. Are we going to fill Goo with mud? <laughs> <laughs> no, Monster Angelo. I'm confused. It's a little complicated, I know, Goo. But trust me, I need you to get into this container. <laughs> oh, okay, Lily. Does Senor Goo fit? I can't look. What do you think, Squad? Does Goo fit? Uh-uh. Goo is bigger than this container. It's too small. Its volume isn't the same. Mm, how about this one? Go ahead, try it, Goo. Whoa! I think this bucket is too big. You're right, Goo. You don't fill it. Wrong volume. Try another. Hmm. Look, Max. I fit. Good work, Goo. This bucket has the exact volume that we need. Here, Monster Angelo. This bucket is the same volume as the broken one. You can use it to measure out the mud you need to make the head. Well, I don't know, but I'll give it a try. That was the perfect amount of mud. My monster piece is magnificent. <laughs> Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> Oops. This is not good. Sorry, Monster Angelo. Maybe there's some way we can stick the arm back on the sculpture. That's it. I can use the sculpture glue. We must use an exact amount to glue the arm back on, enough to fill this cup. All right. Well, let's get started. I'll help you, Monster Angelo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <gasps> I don't believe it. That's the same thing that happened to my bucket. It's cracked. It can't hold any sculpture glue. What are we going to do? Oh, I don't see any containers here that look the same shape as the broken cup. No, but remember what the math monitor showed us? We can use a container of any shape, as long as it has the same volume. But we can't use goo to check the volume of this cup, Lily. It's way too small. Oof! What else can we put in the cup? It needs to be something that won't leak through the crack. Sand! <laughs> Super math -erific. We can use sand! There! Now we just have to find another container that holds this exact amount of sand. Oh, how about this one, Lily? What do you think, Squad? Does this container hold all the sand? Does it hold the right volume? Nope. There's still some sand left in the cup. This container is too small. Wrong volume. Try this one! <laughs> Whoops! 
Nope, the sand doesn't fill this container. So the container is too big. Wrong volume again. Monster Angelo, how about that container you're holding? What, what this? But it will never work, Lily. It's not shaped like any of the other containers. Remember, it's not the shape of the container that's important. It's the volume. Yes! It holds the right volume of sand. Monster Angelo, you can use that container to measure out the correct amount of glue to fix the sculpture. Excellent! I will get to work. Harumph! And just in time. I think I hear Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. All right, Monster Angelo. I don't have all day. Let's see this sculpture you made of me. Of course, of course, Senor Cranky Pants Monster. I so hope you like it. We'll see. I don't like anything very much, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? Oh. Hmm. This sculpture makes me cranky. He doesn't like it. And I like being cranky. <laughs> Likes it all. Thank you, my friends. Monsterific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Monster Angelo finish his sculpture of Mr. Cranky Pants Monster, and we did it by knowing all about volume. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. <laughs>